Hey guys, RC here. In today's video, I want to be showing you guys how to put Shiba Inu on your BC Vault Cold Storage Wallet. Let's get started. Today's video, we're going to be looking at how to put Shiba Inu on the BC Vault Cold Storage Wallet. So before we get started, let's go ahead and check out the news and the market update. So the news um, today is on the Motley Fuel. Why Shiba Inu's Hey, we just got paid. Sorry about that. I was really happy about that though because I've been waiting all damn day for that. <clears throat> Anyways, Shiba Inu's Robinhood Reboots are a bigger deal than Dogecoin's Tesla News. Robinhood will wait on regulars before adding Shiba Inu cryptos. Um, this one was pretty cool because it said right here, CF Chief Financial Officer Jason Morning said he was aware of the demand for more cryptocurrencies to be added on the platform, but added that the company didn't want to jump the gun. Bitcoin.com reported Sunday, January 16th. So that's pretty cool, partly because if she does get listed on Robinhood, that will raise the price by a lot. Um, I don't know exactly, but I know it will definitely pump the price. So if you're trying to make some money off of that, you can definitely capitalize off that. The market, we're at 41,000 for Bitcoin. Ethereum's 3100. I think that's a good buying price for Ethereum at 3100 because they were trading at four, over 4,000 not too long ago. If you go to three months, they're all the way up to almost five grand. If you buy Ethereum now, you're at a really good position because you're like over 1700 no, $1,600 um, cheaper than what it was on December 1st. 2021. Uh, let's go and look at she real quick. We are at 2745. Almost in the zone that I buy at. If they drop below 25, I definitely will be buying. I'm gonna put another hundred bucks on them. 27, I still feel it's not really low enough because it already has been trading around 28 and 3. 25 and under that will um, be good. Uh, Shiba Inu, Ethereum, and Doge are always slowly eating to Bitcoin's multi-billion dollar payment, Saphir. Cool. So yeah, that's that. And uh, now it is time to get to the main video, which is about BC Vault. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. First thing you want to do is grab your cord. You're going to plug in this into the computer. Okay, with that slide plugged in, if you have your BC Vault, Cold search wallet, you're gonna grab it, you're gonna find the side of it that has that thing on it, which allows you to plug it in, connect it. It doesn't matter which side you plug it in, just get it in there. Once you have it plugged in, it's gonna probably beep on the computer, it's gonna light up and say BC Vault, Vaults, wallets are for pocket money, vaults are for safekeeping. So with that, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the software. We are back in. We have the wallet connected. I remembered my password, which is a miracle. Um, so, ooh, we are down pretty bad. This used to be at $250. So we're taking a little hit, but uh, the first thing I want to do is if you don't have a wallet made already and it's just you're starting from fresh, you're going to hit click new wallet. Create new wallet. Select the currency you're going to do it in. So you have different choices. Um, if you're starting out, it's going to be limited. It's probably not going to show a lot. So the first one I did is I just said Ethereum. I need to create an Ethereum wallet. So once you create an Ethereum wallet, you'll be able to send and store from Ethereum on this wallet. And it's only Ethereum. So each one is separate. So I have Ethereum, which is right here. And if you click on it, it tells you how much Ethereum I have. So we're 17 bucks. And then the rest of it, I have a Shiba Inu wallet, and I it's holding 6 million sheep. So that's good and dandy if you already know what you're doing. But the reason why I'm making this video is because I had someone who commented down below, his name's Patrick, go check him out. And he was asking, well, how do you put Shiba Inu on the BC Vault? So what you do is if you can't find it on the new wallet tab, you're going to go to right here. You go up to the top, right right below it says home and it says settings and help so you're gonna click on settings this part is where it gets tricky 
first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to application settings, which is the first box. You're gonna go all the way to the right and down one. So you can say add and modify ERC20 tokens. You're gonna hit, you can try auto detect, but you're gonna first do choose existing. You're gonna go to the bottom that says add new custom ERC20 token. After doing that, you're gonna get its contract address, decimal places, full name, and then short name ticker symbol. So I already have Shiva on here, but I want to show you guys how to actually do this. Coin market cap, it has their Ethereum, and if you click more or right here, it says um, it has different addresses. So right here, this is gonna get confusing. You need a contract address to connect it to your wallet. Well, some wallets only support ERC tokens. This is an ERC20 token that we need on our ERC20 compatible wallet. So we're not gonna use a Binance Smart Chain contract address because it's only gonna, that is only gonna work for a Binance Smart Chain compatible wallet. So it says e Ethereum, that's what we need because it's an ERC20. We're gonna copy that right there. I'm gonna go back to BC Vol. We're gonna do contract address, control V if you're on a Windows. It's gonna say the following information was auto obtained from the Ethereum blockchain. So what's nice about this, if you notice, is where it says decimal places, 18, full name, Chiba Inu, and short name tracker, Chib. They already put in all the information, so all you need to get is just the right contract address. Now we can try what happens when you use a um, BSC contract, which is Binance Smart Chain. So this is what happens when you use the wrong contract. It says, could not fetch contract data. Please enter information manually. So if it comes up with that, you probably put in the Binance Smart Chain address. Just close it out, go back, see the, find the one that says contracts right here. It says Ethereum, copy that, copy and paste it. It should pull up all the data for you. So that's how you do um, Shiba Inu. Real quick, I'm gonna try another token. All right, so here's here we go. We found another one. This is Crypto.com. They also have Ethereum, and so they only have Ethereum contracts. We're gonna hit copy. We're gonna go back to BC. Control V. It's gonna find all the data. It says CRO is eight decimals. The name is CRO, short name ticker symbol CRO. We're gonna hit save token. Custom token created successfully. So if we go to our home page, it's gonna say you added Crow, and if you want to do anything else, this is where you go. You click on it, you can send it, trade it, receive it, or more. I don't have any Crow, so we're gonna go back to Sheeb since this video is focused on them. So now that you've added your Sheeb, you're gonna click on it, and you're gonna go ahead and do receive. You're not sending it, you're not trading it, you're not doing anything else, you're trying to get your Sheeb from whatever exchange you have it on, whether it's Bitmart, whether it's um, KuCoin, Coinbase Pro, Coinbase, those are the exchanges, you're trying to get it off of there and into your vault wallet so you don't have to worry about it anymore. Going to click Receive, please send me Shiba Inu. This is your address. You can copy it or you can scan it on your mobile device. Got distracted for a second. So you can either copy it or you can scan it with your mobile device. And that I think scanning is honestly the easier way. But if you can't, you just copy that, paste it in. And then from there, um, you're gonna go back to your exchange. It's gonna tell you the next steps. You'll probably pay a fee, uh, which for the most recent one I did was 500,000 sheep. And then after that, wait the how much time it takes. It usually takes like 12 or 20 confirmation network confirmations and then it'll send it over uh, that is how you connect your shiba inu to the bc vault if you guys have any more questions please comment down below love y'all's comments it gives me something to do and i look forward to making more videos so if you guys like this video please leave a comment like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more thanks for watching